Today we are going to do CUDA Software Algebra 1, Solving Systems of Equations by Elimination. So we're going to start simply. The first in number 1, we can easily eliminate the variable x by adding the equations. When you add opposites, they cancel. We go ahead and add the other terms. Negative 2y plus 8y is 6y. Negative 12 plus negative 24 is negative 36. Divide by 6. y equals negative 6. Plug that back into y in either of the equations. So negative 4x minus 2 times negative 6 equals negative 12. Negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12 equals negative 12. Subtract the 12. So negative 4x equals negative 24. Divide by negative 4. x equals 6. Present your answer as an ordered pair. The x value goes first and then the y. Let's try another one. Number 3. If you add those equations, notice that the y's have opposite coefficients. They will cancel. Add the axis. There's an invisible one there. 1x plus 2x is 3x. Add 11 and 19, it's 30. Divide x equals 10. Plug it back into either of the original equations. 10 minus y equals 11. Subtract 10, negative y equals 1, divide by negative 1, y equals negative 1. Present your answer, 10, negative 1. In number 5, it's a little different. The y's look like they match, but they're the same sign. So you want them to be opposite in order to eliminate. So I'm going to negate one of the equations. It doesn't matter which. I'm going to choose to negate the bottom one. So change, change, and change. By negating, I have made the coefficients of y opposite. So when you add, they cancel. Add negative 2 and positive 4. It's 2x equals negative 2. Divide x equals negative 1. Plug it back into x of any equation. So negative 2, negative 1 minus 9y equals negative 25. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 minus 9y equals negative 25. Subtract 2, negative 9y equals negative 27. Divide y equals positive 3. Present your answer, the x value first, and then the y. Try one more with number 7. Once again, the x's have same sign coefficients. We are going to negate one of the equations. So make them opposite, and you have to do it across the board. So now the axes have opposite coefficients. When you add opposites, they cancel. 6y minus 3y is 3y. 6 plus 12 is 18. Divide. y equals 6. Plug 6 into y of either equation. Negative 6x plus 6 times 6 equals 6. Negative 6x plus 36 equals 6. Subtract 36. Negative 6x equals negative 30. Divide. x equals positive 5. Present your answer. x goes first and then y. All right, number 9 is different. <clears throat> Neither of the coefficients match, but we can force them to match by multiplying one of the equations. If I want the axis to match, I will multiply the first equation by negative 2 so that it now has a coefficient of negative 10, which is opposite of the 10. So I'm going to distribute it here, negative 10x, distribute, 
negative 2y equals distribute negative 18. Add those equations, the axes will cancel because they're opposite. Add the negative 7 and negative 2 is negative 9y equals negative 36 when you add the negative 18s. Divide by negative 9, y equals positive 4. Plug it back in, into the original. So 5x plus 4, I'm plugging in the 4 into y, equals 9. Subtract 4, 5x equals 5, divide x equals 1. Present 1, 4. So we try number 11, multiply this equation by negative 3. The reason for that is now we have a positive 9. So 9x minus 21y equals positive 48 if you distribute to each of these. Now the negative 9 and positive 9, they will cancel. Add the 5 and the negative 21, that would be negative 16y equals 40, 50, 64. Divide by negative 16, y equals negative 4. Plug that into either of the equations, I choose the first. So negative 3x plus 7, plug in negative 4 into y, equals negative 16. Negative 3x minus 28 equals negative 16. Add 28. So negative 3x equals, that would be 12. Divide by negative 3. x equals negative 4. Present your answer, negative 4 negative 4.